Some people would rather get one that sucks copious pee-pee than get a Titan. <laughs> Let's try a little smooth jazz Morgul. A lot of fun shaman cards too. Plus you sometimes just need uh, one, one Titan, one uh, pack the house. Or in the case of Katie Candy, three Titans. And I hate this card. Like, I never have it and feel happy. I think I'm just going to take Aug Merchant and not feel particularly happy about any of these cards. Very, very uh, strong pick four years ago or three years ago or whatever. Pretty reasonable. Let's take a Proto Drake. Uh, not a big fan of Doom Hammer. I do like Hex. Doom Hammer does get a little better because there's a lot of like add three attack type cards, but I'd still rather use the six mana weapon, which is just premium and broken. I'm going to grab the Hex. You just get a lot of strong weapons in Shaman right now. I wish I could have recorded the draft. Yeah, that would be cool. And thanks again, Killer Killer Emu, for the five months. Let's take the Jukebox Totem. Don't hate Altered Chord. I guess I don't love Pit Master. All right, let's take the uh, Altered Chord. Sometimes you just want a little bit of lifesteal. I think this weapon's really, really strong still. Some cards like this, which were strong when they came out and then sort of fall off, um, are, are a little disappointing. This one here, it's like the stronger the early game minions are, the stronger it becomes. Like keeping a Jukebox Totem alive or like... I don't know, an evil totem. I mean, that was out around the same time. It might even be the same set, but there's some cards you can you can keep alive because of this. So I, I think it's still it's still pretty strong. Uh, Anubisath's fine. Revolve I don't like much. Lightning Bolt's okay too. I think I'll just take Anubisath here. Four mana seven seven. Sure. I I, I am not a big fan of Harkoner. I do not particularly like that card. Uh, Trog is I've not taken one. I don't know if it's really that bad. It might not be as bad as it as it as it seems, but I think you just have to have hipsters. That uh, 11-0 game, we got an infinitize. Um, you know, you just need to be able to find a symphony, an infinitize, a pack the house, a scourge, or at least like roll the dice on them. And if not, you're gonna find something else that's useful right? most of the time. The other day, I tried to pull off the totem legendary that gives totems plus one plus one. I had two evil totems and a jukebox, and it went five. That's not bad. That card is awful. I like it too. I think I had a double eyesore draft up on... It might be out on YouTube even way, from way back in the day. <laughs> Let's take the crash. I think one crash is okay. I kind of hate these cards. Don't like overloading. The reach is kind of nice. Pickrock just feels like it should cost seven now or six. <laughs> Probably six, but whatever. And while I'm not a big fan of Harkoner, I, I just think these cards are too low impact to really take here. I think uh, Totemic Reflection is sort of reasonable. Uh, yeah, sure. Maybe we'll get a couple more Totems. Works on Amalgams. It's an interesting pick. Both of these cards are are nice. I think I'm more of a Turn the Tides guy. Get the Minion on board. Overload 1 is not a big deal. There are actually some cards, uh, uh, Overload Synergy cards. So sometimes you want to Overload a little. We'll take the Stereo Totem. Also not a terrible start to go Stereo Totem into Totemic Reflection. It's pretty reasonable. I have all three Titans in my starting hand. That is suboptimal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> AKBT winner, thank you for the follow. I'm going to take Rhodey. I don't really like it much, but I kind of hate the other cards. I do like Lightning Reflexes, though. That card is strong. Uh, Melomania is, you know, honestly, it's good. But it feels less good um, now. It feels like oh, every time I draft it, the few times I have drafted it, I'm getting like one or two spells whereas before when schooling was super common it felt like it was easy to get three or four spells so i think what i'm going to do is just take the two drop which i, I find to be a quite a strong two actually hex or storm strike both good i think i'll just take another hex but if i get the uh six mana weapon i would probably regret not having a couple storm strikes in the deck i think totem reflection is better in multiples and I, I don't even really like this disposable bot much. Um, if you can ever stack them on the same totem, like, you're like compounding your benefits, right? And do you think that's an argument to make three of them? Maybe. E Nara, that's good. Uh, King, the other day, Treads drafted King Ferocious, and then his deck was awful, of course, and King Ferocious was awful. <laughs> and then he lost, and he retired his deck was the right decision but he was like oh my god i can't believe <laughs> yeah oh my god i can't believe my deck stinks like we well, took king verosis come on you can draft king verosis 
you can never get upset that your deck stinks if it adds King of Perosis in it. This card should cost 5 mana, dude. Or maybe 6. You know it's a, a decent card? My god, Totem Reflections. Like a couple, I had like a couple evil totems in this deck. Oh, there's the Windlord. So Inara, Windlord, we have uh, this thing. This is pretty uh, important. I would be down to take a thing from below in my quadruple totemic reflection deck. Another turn, the Tides is good. Good with both of these. It's kind of insane with Inara, actually. Wow, got the evil totem. I would love a cage match custodian because we have. I eh, only have two. I guess it's possible we draw both weapons before we draw the Custodian. But this deck is just begging for a uh, an evil totem. So you go you go first, they just tap on two. You go evil totem, totem reflection, and they just cast totem reflection every turn. It's gonna take the two, but I kinda hate it. One, two, three-ish, four, five. They're not like two drops that trade, but they are two drops that require like answers at least. I think I'll take the toll here. I think a dirty rat. Not going to, but good. Uh, Wasp is not really all that good. I guess I'll take a Rusty Raider. I like Elemental way more than Harkoner. All right, last pick. Uh, another evil totem. Eh, you know, um, the Disciple of uh, Gilgamesh, she's okay. What overload cards do I have here? You don't have many. I have one, two. But discounting this is a pretty big deal. That's it? Oh, that doesn't feel so good. I just don't want a Ancestral Knowledge. I think we do want at least one more real 2-drop. It's an interesting deck. Strong deck and a very good player. 12-0, congrats. Yeah, the last deck was very, very strong. I wish that decks like the last deck were less common, and decks like this deck were more the norm, where your power comes from kind of synergistic inter interactions. I'm gonna close my door because it's kind of oh we didn't disconnect it's kind of cold out there would blood cell rate be good if it also gained health equal to the number of weapon charges on your weapon it would be better for sure i don't know if it would be a particularly good uh... i don't know if it would be a particularly good like arena two drop like everything that's good in the early game needs to like do like one of three things it needs to discover you a card. It needs to have way more. Oh yeah, yeah. It needs to have way more stats than it should, and it needs, or it needs to give you free mana. It needs to give you like mana advantage. So that card would only fit the uh, the bill of one of those, and then it would be situationally conditional. In you know, you'd have to have really like a good one or two cost weapon. To ever really want it. It'd be like a two card combo. It's really kind of tough to rely on that. Sorry, I have something in my eye. I thought Hearthstone disconnects while well, the animation was rolling only happened to me. No, it's quite common, sadly. Hey, I have to make sure I keep a minion in my hand. It's a pretty sick turn here. I mean, I can't cast that, but this is a pretty sick turn too. Could be counter. That'd be sad. Could be, uh... Hmm. It is our time to step out of the shadow. Well, I'm not gonna trade because I get the mana discount. <laughs> this card's freaking huge. I have to get another minion in my hand. Today was absolutely awful. That's not good. I just got Kologarned, and he took my Titan, and then I took it back. And he had the Priest Titan. What is this? He has double Priest Titan. <laughs> Oh, we should be watching your games. <laughs> what did you just do? Oh, he just drew. Oh, my days. Oh, it's Buff City over here. We get a free kill on that. Oh, maybe I'll go face. I would be surprised. That would help me. Ah, uh, bummer. Reduce the cost of spells in your hand by one. That's one big hipster. <laughs> Aren't all the low cost discovered cards what ruined Hearthstone? I mean, they're oftentimes not particularly well designed. Uh, we weren't discussing like what cards like ruined or didn't ruin Hearthstone. We we're just talking about cards you would need to draft, right? That's too too different though. 
We got nature and more nature, followed by more nature. I guess I'm going to do this. Forsaken Ska Metal is the best. I'm sorry I ever said otherwise. <laughs> yeah, don't don't say otherwise. No minions. As long as he doesn't have like a shadow or death or something. But come on, he's a mage. What chance would he have to have such a premium and perfect answer such as that? Uh, Katie, please let us know how that game goes if you're ending up three and two. Oh, that for sure was gonna screw me. But it doesn't have to. That's good. That's awful for me. Okay. Alright, start hitting him in the face. Maybe would be fair now. Tell you one thing. It certainly didn't go uh, poorly for him. I get to smack him for three. I I'm just gonna draw a card. Yeah, dude, you did amazing. Maybe here. What? How much damage do I get from this? I get ten. Uh, seven, seven, seven followed again. What did you ever do to Yog? I'm like Yog's most devoted uh, servant. I really feel like I'm going through my Salieri phase, man. I really do. Please don't, like, just freeze my face or something. <laughs> okay, okay. Probably gonna just die, right? Whereas you think, uh... You might be okay, you probably just end up dying. Just besting him out of burn or something. Six, twelve, I'm one damage off, right? If I cast this one, then I can kill the three three. Who's the Mozart to Red Salieri? Yogg-Saron. No, wait, Yogg-Saron is, uh, is God, I guess. Probably Dexter. <laughs> He's just playing Priest Titan after Priest Titan. <laughs> we really should be watching your game. Inara now? Yeah, we have to Inara now. Um, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Please. Don't kill me. I hate this game, I'm probably gonna lose. <laughs> yeah, doesn't losing in Hearthstone really stink? Boy howdy, I sure hate that. We deal six there. He gains six. Puts him up to nine. So I can no longer kill him. Good lord. That's too bad. <laughs> Maybe I can get another... No, I'm overloaded, huh? So I can't turn the tides? I can deal eight. What's he at? Nine? Ah, uh, filthy, disgusting game. Should have drafted uh, four titans. Yeah, Katie, should have drafted four titans. Losing in general stinks, yeah. Maybe I should have just tried that, because I still can't even use it next turn. How much she has three? No, I'd be dead on board, huh? Okay. Maybe I could have swung twice and then hexed something. I mean, double star power, a high roll of a seven mana puzzle box, and a heal for six when we could have killed all that. Oh, and a randomly generated shadow word death for two mana 11, 13. I mean, what are you gonna do? Right? Can you feel the I guess it leaves open the uh, possibility that we could hit turn the tide specifically this turn now. Like now that we're not overload, or am I dead on board? I wonder. Am I am I online still? Okay, you're okay if we watch real fast? Maybe just I mean it sounds like there's a lot of Titans being played. Just see what's going on over here. Hmm. Have we played all of our Titans? <laughs> also just feel free to play if you also you don't want us to watch, it's okay. <laughs> now we can clear this board. Oh but you do want me to leave by the way? I'll I'll leave if you want. I like this turn though. It's a little feels a little bad throwing away the three damage from the strike, but what are you gonna do? You don't care? Okay, thank you. I was gonna go and grab some cashews. 
He has a Titan? Uh, so what, he removes those? So we're screwed is what you're saying. We're completely and utterly screwed. All right, I'm gonna go grab some cashews. I'm gonna come back. That was the part of the point of this. I will not be here for a moment. Okay, sorry, I'm still here. I'm back. I used this time to go pee as well. Um, hey Taz, how are you? Taz, we just had a 12-0 Warlock run. Wait, can we kill him here? One, three, six, nine, ten. Wait, can we kill him? Ten? No. But you can hit first with everything, and then the hammer will hit him in the face. Which seems like the thing to do. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Also, yeah, what is this? Where did this DJ? Oh, that's what he got from Amenthal. Yeah, it was a really cool run. I think this is the only play available to, to us. I'm getting sick again. Wait, how can you get sick again? You were sick your whole time here. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> What if you would have hit the cage head and killed you? <laughs> Do we have lethal? I think, uh, wait, isn't that really bad for him? Oh no, he has the 10 10 too. My throat is hurting, and that's the first time. Maybe you're screaming at a rock and roll concert. Oh my god, Alex Straza. Oh, oh my god, we are so screwed. <laughs> Well, you need to not go to work, and you need to... I think I remember that. You need to not have... You need to... I wonder. We need to eliminate the common cold. This is ridiculous. We need that, for sure. Is this lethal? I don't think so. Because this will hit the lowest health enemy, so it's actually going to hit one of these. 50-50? I don't think it's 50-50. Not sure how you're getting a 50-50. But yeah, I mean, I don't know what's in your deck, but you can go face, play both taunts, coin out a totem. I would still swing the weapon face, because if you hit the 8-1, I mean, that's still helpful, right? And if you hit the 5-1, he's going to be able to trade it anyway, so... Frick. Hammer gets him a 9-9. Nine, nine. I mean, it might have killed an 8-1, right? But at least this way, I don't know what's left in Katie's deck. If she has something like a Fire Ellie, then they're, you're, you're leaving up outs to potentially kill. Lightning reflexes or something. I used Fire Ellie. I missed a good portion of this game. But I think you played it very well. I'd be very annoyed if I were you. <laughs> we have our own annoying Hearthstone run to continue. 
a worthy attempt. Yeah, that's crazy. Because didn't you say cats four priest titans? <laughs> oh man, you were real close. He cleared all three of my titans. Yeah, everybody clears all the titans pretty easily. I feel like. I must protect the wild. But yeah, usually, you know, you expect to win up in a spot like that for sure. My opponent last game killed me when I like it's not even it doesn't even seem possible sometimes how people kill you. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try to get a totemic reflection. I had a two mana eleven thirteen on turn five, plus another card, and I had a board. I'm like still lost that game. He wants to be friends. Yeah, Adam. See what he has to say. Have him report back, please. Hope you feel better. Have some chicken noodle soup. And lots of sleep. Yes, lots of sleep. Lots of soup. He's typing in Korean. Google Translate it. <laughs> he better be talking schmack to you. <laughs> this is an absolutely abysmal hand. I'm supposed to get Totemic Reflection. I got chicken and noodles on the way from the grocery store. Red, we got an unbanned request. Okay, hold on. Can I look at it? I'll let you make the call. Overloading here doesn't really do me any good. If I can get one of them stinking uh, totemic reflections now, I'll have divine shield. Um, let me see. I'm gonna leave you in charge of it. It's not very interesting, but are they, you know, apologetic? They grow up so fast. We have been banning more people. No reason for a no offense game comment. Yeah, you could unban them. I keep them. I, I mean, if you want. I'd keep my eye on him, though. They seem like a troublemaker. He's typing in Japanese. I'm unfriending him. No, you gotta... You gotta see what he's saying. Uh, Ramp. Thank you for the follow, Rampa. Pretty good here. Stops me from playing that. I don't know. I get a 3-4 down. I kind of dig that. I'm gonna swing, because I've got this kind of, kind of on, the, on the horizon. I unfriended him. Oh no. I can't copy the symbols. I think if you go into um I mean it's okay. It's not you know. If you go into the uh the actual where you open up Hearthstone from, you you can access your chat log there, I think. And then you can like copy paste. But yeah, in the game it's kind of a an uh, it's pretty annoying. <clears throat> what am I doing here? Chop there, play the five, double trade. That's what I wanted to do. Maybe. Dang it. I think you can still look. Maybe not, though. I said I only speak English, and he said okay, and the receipt did not speak English. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Maybe you're saying, like, what a crazy game. I can't believe it. We've created a temporal anomaly. Drink up for my children. That corrupted? It was corrupted. Finally. Not so sure how good this is, <laughs> but you can make an awful lot of 1-1s. One -ones. He's trying to be friends again. Oh good. Yeah, now, now, you can, now you can be friends with him. Make a new friend and use the video version of Translate to make a pen pal. Yes. Make a new pen pal. At first, <clears throat> he said ha 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 ha. In Korean. That sounds kind. Uh, let me click that. Let me click this. Threat detected. Dispatching battle bots. Uh, dispatching some battle bots. Well, I do want to kill that lest he magnetize on it. But with the hand we currently have, I'm going to chuck this face too. Got the pick croc here. He said it was a wonderful match. In English, wow, cool. That's nice, what the fuck just happened? Gigantic squirrel. Hey Dealey, what's up dude? Wow, look at me, playing the drums. <laughs> wow. And that's a mega cutie to squirrel? Hey, look at this, we're getting inundated with squirrels. Power of squirrels, too strong. I can chop that. Should I chop the squirrel? 
I need board space. Uh, well, let's do this. Maybe I can find a buff. I know I'm not getting any 1-1s, but I don't really care. This is kind of good for me. Over overdraw a lot. I don't want to heal him at all. all right, I'll take stupid bees. I don't know. It's a spell. Do I even keep playing? Oh yeah, you gotta keep playing. You're probably gonna go 12. It's just gonna be 12 and 2 now. Interesting. 12 and 2. 12 and 2 is a pretty good score. I mean, yeah, of course, I just went 12 and 0. Not a big deal. So many totems. Oh, we got a lot of totems here. Why did Druids play? I had a 7-win Druid yesterday. That was swell. I think Druid's fun. You just lose a bunch, which doesn't feel as fun. I want to start with a Totemic Reflection. I mean, I've got a couple of two-cost totems I can get out early, maybe. No, that's not exactly that. If I get a two-cost totem, though, I think I'm going to coin it out. Dario, Jukebox, Evil. You can play Druid, but the second the opponent goes wide, you're done. Gotta keep that in mind. Goes wide? You mean cast an AoE? Hello. If he just hero powers, I might just totem. Well. Deck has an abundance of two cost cards. Maybe not an abundance. I have some. Yeah, Druid kind of feels like you're playing solitaire. Like, you never trade. You're just working on, like, stacking a board. And then trying to get, like, a big buff. And that's it. Bought hard. We lost. How often does Sebastian come to visit you inside your place? When Taz was here, he came every day, but I haven't seen him for two days. It's been colder out. We might be spending uh, more time inside. But I haven't seen him. It's not very good. Overloading's not very good. Giving him a minion to buff with his arbor up. You guessed it, not very good. I don't. You need to play with him and make sure he feels loved when he comes by. He does. I do. What the devil? <laughs> what the devil? Hex. King trade. Let's start here. See what, what's in here for us. Landslide. Warrant. Bolt. Bolt. Ping trade. Bolt. Oh yeah, we're playing. Convince this guy to adopt a cat. Well, she doesn't want any cat. She wants that cat. He comes by and thinks you don't care about him. We spent an hour and a half on the sofa. We were watching cat videos. And I gave him a duck treat. Why would he take such things? Take a billion. It's not bad, I guess. I saw a swinging cat clip on TikTok, pretty sure it was fake, but it was funny. What's a swinging cat clip? Singing. Oh. Well, if it sounded like Frank Sinatra, it probably was fake. <laughs> Sorry. Where are my totems? Uh, where'd my hex go? Didn't I have a hex? Oh, never mind. I just hadn't drawn it yet. Is that any good? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Sebastian is special and can't be replaced? No, he can't. No one could replace him. Nothing. Except if it was two identical clones of Sebastian and then there we just have three of them. That'd be fine. <laughs> That'd be fine. Don't love that. Don't love that. You kind of love that, though. Uh, so what am I doing here? I hit here, I shoot there, I chop. 
He gets one card. Wow, is this nine years kid Fruity Loops beat? What the hell? What the hell? I had neighbor's cat visiting me every day this summer. He was chill and stuff, but at one point I had some clothes drying in the rack, and he walked up to it, raised his tail, and spritzed on them. And that was the last visit. <laughs> when I hit base, because we have seven charges and he's at full health. So we'll have to save that for later. Killing minions is more important than killing his face or whatever. Hit the fourth picture of Sebastian. This is the fourth one. Oh, the quad. Wow, that's a good one. Yeah. This feels bad for me, the player. They cannot stop my work. It's not great. Wait a minute. Would be good. Could at least pull it and altered something or other. All my totemic reflections, that could be good too. So I shoot here first. And then I chop here so I can kill them both, right? And then I play this, and then I play this. I think I save it for next turn. Could chop there, but it doesn't do me a ton of good, I don't think. We need an Instagram account for Sebastian. That's true. He'd get 1 million followers and he'd start paying for Red's cashews. <laughs> he'd be paying for more duck treats for himself, which is fine. Okay, okay, it's 4 5. Do I have time? Oh, that's nice. Kinda nice. Altered cord and a buttload of those. Double time and double pay. Five, seven, three, one. Four, I go down to six. Just need to live a turn. Hit, chop, trade, trade. I can take off two power. So go four, one, four, five, six, nine. Hit, chop, down to six, trade, trade getting the weapon. I think I have to do this. I think I have to. I guess I still do this. He likes those duck treats. Oh yeah, he does. He certainly does. Yes, he certainly does. Did you take plus one damage this way? This way? I don't think so. Doesn't sound like something I would do. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Okay, need a taunt. Need some armor. I have possibility of finding both. Okay. Don't love that. Excuse me. Mm, don't love that. Five. Four. Six. Got a taunt. Okay, I do like that. Loops beat, he called it. My god. What a horrific take that was from my friend Kripalis. I'm getting slapped by a mage that has played two of the seven mana vortex card to keep clearing my titans. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, clearing the titans is, all things considered, not that difficult, I don't think.
but usually like clearing them is you know sets people back lets you recoup you know a lot of value it's like if you're using it and not getting a ton of value off of like the board clear or the heal it can be kind of kind of tough it's it's not as good as you know the, the priest or the or the warlock ones Hello, little musician. <laughs> Priest and Warlock are the best? Yeah. Yeah, I think the Priest one is a lot closer to Sargeras than it is to any of the other Titans in terms of power level. Nice win. Yeah, remember when he was uh, BM emoting us? I remember that. Um, I think because it costs 7, it's, it's closer. If it costs 9, like, that's a different story. But it doesn't cost nine, it costs seven. But sometimes, you know, you kill a warlock on turn eight, or they play their Sargeras on turn nine and then they die. Hope you're good. What was the last song? It was uh, Fruity Loops. Job's done. Two year olds, Fruity Loops. I won because my opponent disconnected. <laughs> hey, those still count. Those still count the same. Possible. Possible lives and possible we draw a totemic reflection. My dear friend Kevin Garnett once said, and I quote, anything is possible. Sargeras is wildly tilting to me, even in standard, yeah? Thanks, Red, no problem, man. That's B-Nap. Hopefully, you know, you can show him some love. We're reflecting. I guess I lose one right out outright, but... We help keep it, and if we can hit another one, we saw the power level of stacking the totemic reflections. Four, six totems are pretty, uh, pretty potent. Next turn, maybe the chop. A couple of, you know, a two, a one mana two six taunt, maybe. Not quite the same. Anybody can have a different taste in music. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> taste the rainbow for all I care. You do what you want. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. I respect it. Some people like different things. It's probably gonna... How many cards do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have at least eight cards that cost five less. Could be quite strong. I also could hit like a like an Aug Merchant and regret everything and hate my life, so... I don't hate my life, I like it, and I'd like to keep doing that. Okay, now I hate my life. Those are dragons? I guess in the loosest sense of the word. Maybe on another day, I like this, but at the moment it sounds like a lot of random things put together. This is, uh, Samurai Shampoo. I thought you were a... famous nerd on the internet. I thought you, you were morally and socially obligated to like Samurai Shampoo. What a lovely day. What a piece of shit. How about that? That's a six? What a piece of flippin' floppin' garbage that is. I only listen to Beethoven. Pre-fifth symphony. Pinky's up. The man puts his pinky up. Let him put his pinky up. Put that cookie down. Can you evolve into a titan? You cannot. You will not come closer. You will not evolve into a titan. Wish I could give it a rush. Rush and a push on our hand. I'm gonna throw this in. Take the three damage. I mean, I think my three three is gonna live. I sincerely doubt it. Why can't you evolve into them? It's coded so that you can't. I think it's a good change. So it's like one player's not getting a six mana four five that completely blows and sucks copious PP. And the other player's getting, like, a titan, right? Boom. Ysera. Hmm. Redbeard? The Dragon Master. I just realized now that that's a 3-3. It's a good turn to play it. We get his Sargeras or his Symphony. Could be nice. I'm gonna go 4-4-1. Four, four, Discarding whatever we get, if we have to. Some people would rather get one that sucks copious peepee -pee than get a titan. I hope I win this 50-50. I 
I did win the 50-50. Holy smokes. This game is so much better when you win the 50-50 sometimes. So it's one, two, three, four, seven, eight. I can't put him to two. So I guess I'll do this. I should have done that first, but I got excited by uh Inara. I'm gonna take the damage. Even though the other cards are better. Um might just need the last little bit of reach. We have a pickrock, we have a horn. We have a Crash of Thunder. We have a Lightning Reflex. We have a lot of ways to find a small amount of damage. It's normal to be excited by Inara. What can I say? I got something for uh, uh, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. <laughs> the Warlock run go 12-0. Oh, it did, yeah. That one actually went 12 and 0 losses. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. runs at three and one it's been fun the totem run the only titan that would suck to roll into is sargeras so 10 out of the 11 titans would be a cham to evolve into yeah that's true i guess sargeras he costs nine i mean it's better than some nines it's better than getting a two four it pulls a dragon out of your deck when you ain't got no stinking dragons disgusting deck our decks oh that uh, the warlock was very strong we had double scrap triple location and Symphony. I mean, it's easily a Dreads Retire. He retired a deck that had a drafted Symphony and two two locations. But for us, you know, it was a hard fought 12, 12 0. Dreads probably like two and three, maybe. I could see like a two win deck. What's the meta class in Arena? Uh, the classes don't really matter that much in the grand scheme of things. What matters the most, the absolute most, is uh, getting like a Titan. Or one of like three or four power cards for pretty much every class has access to a range of a couple of powerful cards. You need scrap imps, you need locations for warlock, you need those things. Get a two mana discount on this, potentially. And I, I'm losing out on an early one one, but we really want that on board going into turn three, I think. Where it's a little more. Ooh, now it's zero. Eh, it's still going to be close to zero. It may end up at zero. Yeah, if you're just talking about like the highest win rate classes, it's still Warlock. It's still, um... You are coming out no matter what. If I'm killing it, I don't have to kill it. But... Rogue has a very tough time trying to high roll that much. All their high rolls have to come during the game, yeah. Is he getting here? He forged that? That's not bad for me, though. Actually, this ain't bad either. Six. That's insane. Two, that'll cost three. Well, it's not quite insane, I guess. Eh. Eh. Maybe. Okay, yeah, that was kind of insane. Kind of out of stuff, though. Warlock with the location of Titan has the highest win rate, but the variance is completely out of control. Awesome. I don't think I can pass that. Sorry, I missed that. Dreads had three locations in the deck he retired. Man, that makes me sick to my stomach. <laughs> Truly a disgusting day. Truly. Nay, truly a disgusting man was born that day, 50 years earlier. Yeti on turn 5 sucks. I thought he was going to cast a 4-6 <laughs> that cleared my whole board. Instead he cast a 4-5 and did nothing. What an idiot. <laughs> what an absolute idiot. You guys wanted to out barcode the barcodes. And all, uh, you know, all along, along the way he became a barcode himself. Someone should make a highlight video of all the decks that Dreads retires. You'd probably get banned by Blizzard. I'll get on it. You might tap. I could play that. We rise to the warm of the sun. I think I might still live. Oh, if I knew I was going to draw that, I would have done things differently. I would have coined that out. Got the buff here. 
then played that. Got another buff here. That would have been swell. The real treasures are the barcode worthy decks that Dred's retired along the way. He does retire a lot. But why? Why does he do that? What does he gain from it? Who does he hurt? Himself? All of us? Yeah. I love when Dredd says his deck has one good card and the deck is just stacked. <laughs> He's gotta be fucking with us a little bit, right? A little bit? Old boomers like him are always thinking about retiring. He doesn't really think about the future generations. Or, or us going through the struggle. He's just over here, just thinking about retiring. The banging of the totemic reflection begins. Uh, I think what I do is going to be dependent on what totem I roll. I mean, why hit it for him? F him, I don't even like him. James Bond, do you like this one better or nah? You think it's stupid? Nope. <laughs> nope. I think that went well for me. All things considered. I hate not, um... I hate not equipping a weapon. Still too random. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what... Isn't all music random? <laughs> and... Well, like, not that random? <laughs> it's just drums and... Golden eye sounds. <laughs> Every 10 seconds he switches beats. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. And two, and three, and four. It's just one beat. <laughs> That's some four-four beat. Uh, maybe because the songs are short, so some of the songs are only like a minute long. These are different songs. They're like little like cut-up samples. What is he got going on here? Is Dreads younger than you? Uh, Dreads is like a year older than me, or like half a year or something. Did I cast a spell last turn? I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to do anything here. This is too bad to, to take. I would have guessed the Dreads was 10 years younger than you based on how he comports himself. You think so? But doesn't he have like the stink of oldness on him? The stench, as it were? It's all about bouncing. It makes him look even more limber than he is. <laughs> yeah, he does like to bounce. I don't really understand where that came from. I should have played that over here. Children are awful, hot take, I know, but a lot of us are getting to that age. We were all once children, true. I don't mind kids. Never had one of my own. Elemental. Smelly mental. All right, hard fought win, but we got there. Crazy to think that that was probably a fair warlock. Remove your minions, buff their hand, gain life every turn. 
But he didn't play a Scrap Imp, he didn't play a Location, and he... I guess he played a Sun Well, that's probably not fair. Uh, he didn't make it to a Sargeras. First one's win period doesn't matter, right? Kicking ass. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. It's been pretty nice so far today. Never hurts to have a 12-0 uh, run. Now I'm going to jinx it, but we've only been hit by one uh, Titan so far today in four hours. It is a more enjoyable experience. Not really hitting like Totem into Totem or Totem into two drop very often. With this hand, we're not even really hitting like three drop into three drop, which is kind of a bummer, but... I wonder if there's an argument for throwing this out. Probably not. Did the patch change any arena rotation? No. We should get um, some form of micro adjustments, I would assume. But as I always say, I don't think the micro adjustments typically lend themselves to like a fix of the meta. It does kind of change which classes are at the top, but like if you just make like the Warlock location undraftable basically, and Sargeras undraftable and Scrap Imp undraftable, then, you know, your opponents are just going to roll like the Nut DKs or the Nut Mages or whatever. If they buff up Druid and Rogue a little bit or too much, then maybe you just lose to like a bunch of Treant decks. That being said, like, it is nice to shift it. So if they're not going to put in the work to really make it like a good, healthy, balanced meta, at least changing up the, uh, the, the kind of absurdities is, is, the best we're gonna get, right? And well, you know. What else? What more can we get, right? I'm gonna do this. I doubt I'm gonna have either of these, but maybe. The Caverns of Time packs in the game at the moment. I don't think they're out yet. I believe they're coming out a, a bit later. Okay, I lost my board. That is suboptimal. Probably the best one you can get on an empty board, though. Two, three, fours. Instead of two fours that don't heal each other. Taunts that don't protect again anything. We're gonna patch soon. We're we're sitting around, we're holding out hope. We're gonna make it to uh Everybody needs a casket. Just sneeze. It's waiting on Hearthstone 2 someday. Kind of sad that more sets from the past are gate kept from arena just because DK and Demon Hunter exist. You know, uh, I would say they pretty much just put in any, everything these days. Lightning storm. Crash with thunder can hit him in the face. It will cost more, but like, I don't have cards so. I have cards, but I don't really have cards. You know, we have Savers of Old Doom in right now, and uh, Ashes. DK doesn't have any cards for those sets. I mean, we had pretty much in the last year, basically every set's been around, and they all predate um, both of those classes. All, all, like, I mean, not all of them, but I think we've had every set that has predated those. Okay. This guy's having a uh, reborn kind of problematic. Uh, uh. There goes my head flying away. It's a kind of disgusting booger. Anybody want a 1v1 Ryan for the daily reward thing? Yeah, somebody go fight that guy. Not in real life, though. Hipster. Eh, I'd rather have a 2 3, I guess. You know what? That's not very good for me. I would have rather played this. I guess if it was uh, zombies, this is better too. But I guess, depending on what he rolls, like if he just rolled a 2-2 two, two or something, 2-3, two, 3-2 three, three, two type card, then it would be much better to have the 2-3 on board. I 
a lot of hidden meaning. It's a cool card. Um, Hunter has a lot of very cool, like very strong, and also like diverse secrets right now. Bait and switch is very strong. Wandering monster can be pretty good. I lose if it's bait and switch and I swing. Which I, that'd be kind of bad. Let's see what he does. Bait and switch is nightmare fuel. Yeah, I mean, it's really strong. Like, I, I just lose my guy for free. I guess he would have to trade, but like, let's say I, I give him a 6 2. I take 6. He deadly shots my guy. I take 12. Like, the game ends so quick. Gotta keep him tuned. <laughs> Hmm. Weird. It was bait and switch. I don't think you would do that. But what do I know? Jabait and switch. Um, we're gonna need to find altered cord. But I mean, I, I have to make this play. There's no way. Eh, what if I didn't swing? Eh, I mean, we're gonna go down to 14, 12 if he hero powers. But if he doesn't kill these, I'm gonna have a lot of spells. Okay, so no hero power, and we can kill that this turn. If he trades, then I have free reign to just drop a 5 and a 1, which isn't the end of the world. Um, as long as it ain't Doomsayer. Well, it ain't no dirty rat. Marked shot, so it's the secret one. Could be wandering, could be explosive, could be hidden meaning. I think I'm gonna play around hidden meaning. Freezing, we've never cast freezing here. My guess is hidden meaning and explosive and maybe wandering too. Zombies went off, I was going to do that. Uh, let's pass. I prefer post pop goblin. Uh, these are trash. Let's burn a roof over this place. Lord of Skies, here me. I kinda need to kill that. So what are we thinking? Could be pack tactics. Hidden meaning. Hidden meaning cat trick, maybe? Yeah, cat trick, um, hidden meaning are my guesses. Welcome to Dog Poop and Oh boy, poet. Thanks to one rich idiot. Remember like it was 1998 Britney spilt me baby on more time was dominating the music video channel and he, the idiot bastard son was murmuring to the god about this and that. Thought, Art wasn't even invented, eyes. can you imagine? We could be a... <laughs> We could be happy. Red wasn't, though. He had a list of target to get through. I wish I could be there sneaking through the grass, making love to a skirt. Flashing lights, cars passing through our hearts. What the hell? That really went off the rails at some point. <laughs> uh, could be a crackhead. Got a hold of the wrong stuff. A bait and poop and switch. Doesn't have to be that bad. Spirits this turn? I don't like that. Red, can I pick a song? Yeah, hit me with a song. The more you out, the hit me with a song. Can we have a sound redeem of Giorgio saying bastard? It's wonderful. <laughs> uh, no. To my side. Oh, I like this. Oh, total banger. The good version, too. Dreads says this version sucks and he only likes the Atari's version. Yeah, it's a banger. Dreads is wrong. Dreads has a... bad takes. Bad taste. Bad student. No. Bad principal. Can't stop the uh, 
open the cages. There's no way though, right? Just no way he took open the cage just with no minions on board. Dreads is right twice a day. Yeah, so is a broken toilet. Mm. How much can I do? It's time to put some pressure on this. Uh, wait, does that kill him? Am I missing something? Oh, what the hell? Oh, great play. I didn't realize I got the buff. Right, the performance tent portal. Uh, so I can push this, play that, it'll summon a 3 for him. I don't want to do that. It swing the 4, puts him to 9. I don't really want to do that, but I guess I will. It's like those solo adventure puzzle stages, yeah, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here we go again. It's gonna be freezing. Could be wandering. Actually, I think it can be both. I can't spend all my mana. I get a pick croc, and he's just dead. None defy me. That triggers the wandering, right? Yeah, I think it would. Zombies! Look at these zombies BMing. Whoa, look at that. Look at that shape they made. Kinda weird. Symmetrical though. Alright, six wins, definitely more than five. Agree or disagree? I feel like this is like a slightly different version. Maybe I'm crazy. Was Don Henley in the Eagles? Is that or am I thinking of something else? Only four more to go. Yeah, oh okay. god. It's a mashup with the police song. What was the previous run? The previous run went 12 and 0. This song is the best thing ever affiliated with the Eagles. Yeah, I'm not a big Eagles fan. I could probably find 5 or 10 Eagles tracks that I, uh, I don't despise, but... I also don't listen to a ton of Eagles tracks. This song's pretty good. Yeah, it's a good tune. Oh my god, Johnny Dick Weasel. I might just play this. A bad turn to overload, I suppose. Killing both and preventing him from gaining a couple of points of HP is kind of okay. Yeah, not a bad tune ski. I want to play this, but hmm. gotta, gotta have a sip and whiskey. Okay, Eagles. Well, you don't want to listen to the Eagles, though. I listened to ETC before he was cool. Synthesize is kind of interesting. I like that song. You will not come closer. Oh man, I wish Bill was here. Let's play this one in honor of Bill. He requested this the other day. It was a pretty good song. The calm before the storm. Storm. They gave me doo doo cards. Henley and Walsh were the other Eagles. They both went on to solid solo careers. <laughs> no Eagles. Here, we'll let YouTube do its thing. You know, the song's nice. I remember there is the Seinfeld episode where the guy is hooked by Desperado. I do remember that. You ain't lying. You ain't fooling. I could hold that, but I don't know. I'm gonna just throw it on the board instead. Uh, that could be good for me. Yeah, could be worse, I guess. I still can't get through his, though. And I need to, eventually. My heck thing that. If I hex it, I still can't get to this. Alright, I just don't want to take that much damage. So do I need to hex? Probably need to hex the one that can actually attack. To do this. Ready for this. I don't have to. I choose to. Uh. 
Would I rather just equip this? It's better on my mana. It's bad if I draw like Horn of the Wind Lord. This thing's been alive five turns. <laughs> it's in my way. Freezing my face is kind of annoying. Specialty totem waiting room. I mean, I would jam it on a regular totem. I, it just hasn't really worked. It really worked for me. I was feeling pretty confident because he had no cards, but... We'll see how that looks next turn. I thought pre-release was this Friday, but I guess it's next week. It doesn't matter. I still signed up for Lord of the Rings Trap, and I have only done three of them. Hey, good luck, man. Hopefully you do well. Hopefully you make us proud. You're representing the Redbeard community, remember? Yes. He, he has two spells in his hand. Uh, probably three, and he's gonna top deck spell. I'm just gonna do it like this. I don't really like taking that damage, but what can you do? Um, let's do that. I'm trying to get him to go down to a small amount of cards. Or zero. <laughs> he doesn't seem to want to do that. Freeze. Alright, specialty totem waiting room. Oh, that's too bad. Love Kate Bush. Kate Bush is great. That was the only card in our deck where I would continue playing. Now, it doesn't really matter. We're still gonna die, but... You like Joni Mitchell? What about Janis Joplin? Wow, dude. Good luck with all those cards. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna spend all the mana to spend them? You poor fool. Alright, another Totemic Reflection. A bunch of AoE. Uh, pack the house also. Definitely need that. Am I overloaded? No, but I need to get overloaded. That's space. Maybe I have to shoot my own guy. Um, five, eight, nine, seven. I guess I can do this. <laughs> Lackey army. Red hates women. Me? No. I played this one because that other guy did gentleman requested it. You know what I like, but I don't listen too much, is Lana Del Rey. She has a quality. Yeah, me, I'm a big Lana Del Rey fan. That's me. Tell me what you think about that, poet. What if I get another totemic reflection? I just build a bigger and bigger totem. I like her old school Americana style. Yeah. Yeah, Taz likes uh, that lady. Taz says she's getting sick again. She was sick for 10 days here. Now he's like, F it. Alright, totem reflection. Give it to me, baby. Punish him for leaving up my guy. Darn it. I want it. Shadow suffusion. I think I need to blow up a board. I haven't cast any nature spells though. So maybe one of these is better, even if I'm not casting it this turn. So I could look. What if I whiff, though? I could whiff. Got like an infinity amount of spells here. Uh, 
I don't know. It's a hard turn. But yeah, I don't think that was a bad pick because I knew we had the rush. So you're getting a seven, whatever that was, four. Seven, four rush for, you know, four mana. I need to get through the taunt. I just wonder if I should have cleared these and developed less. But I guess you can't really know. A, if we live through this turn. B, what we'll find from the lightning reflex. The issue is we may we were offered a uh, Crash of Thunder. We may just want that. We may not get one out of two rolls. But he's got 100 cards, so... Uh, Blizzard? No. He's freaking out to the totem army that he left up. It's just like, enough is enough. Uh, a uh, Horn of the Windlord would, would have been pretty sick here. Five. Can't hex. I guess this is okay. This is pretty cheap. to push a little bit here. What if I play this one? I get to push one more? It opens up an Inara, potentially, I guess? Opens up lightning reflexes into a wider range of, of damage producing cards, potentially. Ice Barrier? That really stinks. Back to the ball. One, two, three. Man, if he didn't get Rush. One, two, three, four. Double time and double pay. Mm hmm. I did not think that was going to be a winnable game. I was thinking about Flame Ward, and I think what we wanted to do was play both of them first and attack for three to get him down to one if it was a Flame Ward, which would mean um, maybe there's more outs if you get a uh, an Inara, potentially a Horn, potentially a uh, Lightning Reflex giving us, again, an even broader range of cards that might be able to, to get us there. It's the most evil win I've ever seen. Yeah, I think they threw. They had all the tools they needed and just kind of left up the totems, kind of dicked around. And then kind of, like, there's this thing that happens, and, and you know, I, I do it too. I think everybody kind of does it sometimes, where you kind of, like, make a mistake, and then things, like, you're like, well, I, I'm sure I'll kill my opponent. And then, like, a turn later, you've got a couple totems up, your opponent's kind of low, and then, like, you don't clear all the totems, or you don't go all face. You just are like, well, I'm gonna kind of hedge a little, kill most of the totems, and put them pretty low, and then, you know, next turn we get another totemic reflection. We're able to rush that guy. We're able to discover some spells, and all of it starts to, like, compound. Totemic reflection is spanking people. Yeah, it's been good. Definitely keeping it. <laughs> Gonna pray we get another two. We got another two. So the question is, do I coin out the Golganeth or the Evil Totem? And the reality is we're gonna coin out the Evil Totem, but... Strength and honor. Or... Are we? Okay, maybe not. Maybe because we have the Totemic Reflection, we'll try to hold it. Love to see skill outright dominate the Arrogant Mage. Yeah, we dominated the Arrogant Mage. If your opponent coins this out into this, and you saw them like kind of spinning their cards around and like thinking, then you better expect this card to come out. Uh, I can hex it or I can reflect it. Um, well, with two hexes, I think I'll just do this. I think the Totemic Reflection is so valuable for our deck. Just again, we, we can we can use a regular totem, it's fine, but if you get multiples of them down, it really starts to uh spiral out of control pretty quickly, I think. Uh could get a evil totem here. Not really what I was looking for. Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's cool. I didn't really remember that that was going to get discounted. 
Doesn't really matter unless we pick up a one, but oh yeah, it's free. I'll take it. Could go five and then go four two, but I think we want to get this out as fast as we can. Can I pick another song? Sure. Bum, 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 bum. Oh no. Eh, it cost him five. I guess it stops my uh, insect play though. Blue Monday. You know what song I like? Uh, Age of Consent. Welcome we played the Space the Tune. However it was Red's called. Still putting in the grind after all this time. Still putting the grind after all this time. Yeah, thank you so much, Spies. I appreciate the 17 months. You know, Redbeard still putting in the time after putting in the grind after all this time. Um, do you mean the one by uh, those that nice lady and probably that other guy too? Uh, beach house we'll put any beach house on in a little bit i like beach house what the hell <laughs> the <elements. laughs> visual bugs are getting out of hand imagine four hours of hearthstone without a bug this is still a rag okay that's a godly totem <laughs> be sick if it was a 8-8 totem called you know ragnaros the wood lord or whatever <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. They buff totems for shamans. It's about time. It's about time. Oh my god, am I like disconnected? Maybe. Gosh, I hope not. Is the magic cube lower power level and more fair? Duties, I don't know what to play today. Are you off of work? Huh? I wish I could have seen what happened. You lost your totem. What did he do? He must have hexed and played the five? How did he do that? Boy, it would be great if I could actually like see what's going on in the game. Help inform my decisions. That would be better. Oh, I'm taking eight. Uh, going down to 16 to keep a 3-3 that dies to a fire alley. I don't know. Nothing ever lives anymore. I just... Nothing ever lives. I'm gonna play these two. I guess with that up, I don't really want... I want to do that. X that. Oh, I only have seven mana? Oh. Hmm. Okay. You will not come closer. I want to respect the healing totem. Card can be annoying. Maybe he did a card, uh, one, uh, oh yeah, yeah, maybe he torrented it. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. You must have missed a turn? We definitely didn't miss a turn. You can just see how much mana we had and how much mana we started with. <laughs> no, we... We were gone for 10 seconds. You get a minute and 15 second turn timer. And we didn't even have the rope burning. <laughs> you could have any deck with these cards you want. What would you pick? I don't know. I don't know. Like for arena? I don't know. I just picked the best arena deck. 30 patches. What happens if you pull... You play a patches and you pull six. Will it just stop pulling? Or do you like burn them all? And then your deck immediately goes into fatigue. It's at 18. It's pretty low. Any deck takes some magic cards and Exodia in Arena. 20 Helia, and 10 of the 2 mana Plague Removals. <laughs> no, you don't want to do that, because what if they don't give you any targets to shoot into? I guess then you just Helia and kill them. Yeah, maybe that. 20 Helias. <laughs> yeah, there's a good, uh... There's a good one. Evil Scrotum. I can copy his and get a buff version. And then I can hex it, but... I don't really want to do that. Probably I want Storm. I don't really think I'm close to killing him or anything. Maybe I should be toteming because everything I cast just dies for free. But if he's swinging for one damage into the 3-5, giving me a card, that's okay. Played a warrior that had three of those spells that summoned five one ones. So much fun. I beat a couple. Our 12-0 deck beat somebody who had two of them. On like turn six, and then again on turn seven. That's good for him. 
You know what? That's good for him too. Oh, I don't get any cards. Hmm. I don't get a one stinking card. Interesting. Four fours. So what would I have had? A one three, a three five, two three five. So that would have been a lot better. This was not the best for me. I think this might be the best song ever written, just for the record. Wish I had my sippin' whiskey. My sippin' cola. Alright, plays a six mana minion, just sits there and does nothing. Darn it. It's my weapon. Wackinal, yeah. We have to try to like just push damage every turn. Hopefully draw like a fire alley into a horn, maybe. How's your night gone? Pretty good. We actually had a 12-0 run before this, and now we're at 7. We had um, some people subscribe today. That was cool. Yeah. Overall, it hasn't been too bad. This is the best song ever written. This one. There goes my plan of... Uh... Ooh, I did ask for that. I don't know. I have to put like everything on the board. I Proto into Alex. That could be. They didn't gain six or whatever. But if this can connect once, then that's uh that's back on the table. When was fire elemental buff to four damage? Uh two years ago? Two years, I think. Maybe you can't kill it. I don't think this play should have taken this long. <laughs> Did I use the perfect answer to his last remaining card? <laughs> yeah, you know, probably. Probably you should. Ooh, the best song ever written is Pinball Wizard by The Who. I like that song. Why do you think they buffed Firelands Portal? Doesn't chain constructed, but worsens Arena? I don't think it worsens Arena. Not even sure if worsens is a word. But uh, they changed cards for Wild. They made a new Wild expansion, and apparently those cards that are in older sets are already in the client. So. They're live now. I don't think it makes anything worse. Makes it worse if I don't have it, I guess. I guess I should hit the taunt. Right, in case I draw, like... Horn and Inara is still alive. I mean, Inara won't be alive. I'm gonna have to get the taunt. I think it's like, there's more potential damage if there's no taunt, maybe. Oh, uh, kind of a big Clint Eastwood fan. I wanted to watch shit from the beginning of his career because I've seen all of his films. Started watching the show Rawhide. The Western TV show they made in the late 50s and it's good shit, yeah? My dad uh, is a big uh, Clint Eastwood fan. Worsens is a perfectly cromulent word. It is absolutely cromulent. Why did he throw that face? I guess if you roll a rush, maybe you're like net gaining damage. All right, no taunt. He loses the taunt 50-50. Okay, it's already too late. <laughs> I was gonna say, I need to draw horn here. We push six. No taunts. I'm grateful. Thank you for saying that. Best song ever written is called Baby Shark. Uh, you know? You bring up an interesting point. Alright. Crash of Thunder? Does that do anything? <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe. I mean, seven's pretty good. This was a pretty fun totem run. I had an evil totem on turn two versus a hunter. He let it live. And now it's turn eight. I still haven't rolled a discover for a dragon or a spell. Well, there's five, right? You're only 20% likely 
C1 at any time.